you Oliver I'll talk to you later bye hey how are ya it's good to see you it's been such a long time since I saw you it's been about like two weeks last week we didn't talk because we had general conference did you listen to general conference I did oh I love it I love being able to hear the prophet talk President Nelson and the other apostles and be able to listen to what they want to tell us Oh, General Conference is the best. I hope you got to see it too. Well, you know, I was just talking to Oliver. And, you know, he's not here right now. He's doing errands. And so uh, I haven't been able to see him. But, you know, when I can't see Oliver, it's so great to be able to talk to him on the phone. Have you been not able to see some people recently? Like maybe, maybe it's your grandparents or maybe other family or friends. It's kind of sad when we can't see them, huh? And we can't talk to them. And so it's really nice when we can pick up the telephone and talk to them on the phone or maybe do a video chat with them. It's nice to be able to talk with them and let them know how we're doing. And they like to hear how we're doing too. You know, it's interesting because Heavenly Father is somebody that we can't see right now. And he wants to hear from us too. And he'd like to talk with us as well. And there is a way that we can talk to Heavenly Father. And it's called prayer. Prayer is the way that we talk to our Heavenly Father. And we're able to talk with him. So I want to show you a picture. And now these are, the, these are some people in the Book of Mormon. And they are praying. But can you look in this picture? Tell me, how do you know that they're praying. Kind of what tells you in this picture that they are praying? Did you notice something? How about, did you see that they are folding their arms? Some of them fold their arms like this. Some of them fold their arms like this or like this. That's how you start to pray, by folding your arms, right? What is something else that you see that they're doing? How else do you know that they're praying? Do you see that some of them are bowing their head? Yeah, some are bowing the head and, and even some are kneeling on the ground, right? Sometimes we can kneel when we pray, but always we fold our arms and bow our head. That is what we call being reverent. Re another way of saying reverent is to show respect. So let me ask you something. If I'm talking to you and I'm going like this on my phone, is that very respectful? Does it really seem like I'm talking to you or does it really kind of seem like I'm just on my phone? Yeah, it seems like I'm on my phone. It doesn't really seem like I'm listening, right? That's not very nice. Well, what if what if I'm just like, like looking over here and you're talking to me? Does it look like I'm listening? No, right? It doesn't seem like I'm listening at all. When we talk, we show respect when we, when we look at each other, right? And we're not on our phone. Well, the same thing happens when we pray. When we fold our arms and we bow our head, we're showing respect to Heavenly Father. What we're doing is we're telling him, I'm listening. I'm going to talk with you. I'm not going to be distracted by everything else. I'm going to just listen to you. That's why we do that. We show reverence. When we pray, we show respect to Heavenly Father and show him that we want to listen and we want to talk with him. You know, when Jesus came to the people in the Book of Mormon, he taught them how to pray. He told them how to do it. Let's watch a video and let's see what he says. Chapter 46, Jesus Christ teaches and prays with the Nephites. The Nephites who saw Jesus Christ told their friends he would be back the next day. Many people worked very hard to get to where Jesus would be. 
The next morning, Nephi and the other disciples taught the group that had gathered. The disciples then prayed that they would receive the Holy Ghost. Nephi went into the water and was baptized. Then he baptized the other disciples. After they were baptized, the disciples received the Holy Ghost. Fire seemed to surround them, and angels came down from heaven and ministered unto them. While the angels were with the disciples, Jesus came and stood among them. Christ told all the Nephites to kneel on the ground. He told his disciples to pray. While they were praying, Jesus went a little way off from the people and knelt down and prayed to Heavenly Father. Jesus thanked Heavenly Father for giving the Holy Ghost to his disciples. Then he asked for the Holy Ghost to be given to anyone who believed the disciples' words. Jesus blessed his disciples while they were praying. He smiled at them, and they became as white as his face and clothing. Jesus prayed again for his disciples. He was pleased with their great faith. Christ told the people to stop praying, but to keep praying in their hearts. Then he gave them the sacrament. No one had brought bread or wine, but the Savior provided it in a miraculous way. Jesus Christ told the Nephites that his gospel would be brought back to the earth in the last days. He told them to study the scriptures, and he had Nephi write in the record the fulfillment of the rest of Samuel the Lamanite's prophecies. Then Jesus taught the people from the scriptures. He told them to teach one another the things he had taught them. Jesus went back up to heaven, and his disciples taught the people. Those who believed were baptized and received the Holy Ghost. The Nephites began to obey all the commandments. Did you see that Jesus prayed a lot with the people in the Book of Mormon when he came? And he taught them how to do it. Let's see if we can learn some things to show us how we should pray. So here's a picture that kind of helps us. I like to think of prayer like a sandwich. Now, every sandwich has two things that are always the same. Do you know what they are? The bread. Every sandwich has bread, right? So the first piece of bread in, in prayer is we say, Dear Heavenly Father. We start out by addressing Heavenly Father, by telling Him, Hey, Heavenly Father, we want to talk with you. So we bow our heads and we fold our arms and we say, Dear Heavenly Father. That's the first piece of bread. The second piece of bread is how we end the prayer, how we stop the prayer. The way that we stop the prayer is by saying, In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. The reason why we do that, the reason why we say in the name of Jesus Christ is because the whole reason we can pray is because of Jesus. It's kind of like this phone. Jesus is giving us a phone that's, that allows us to pray to Heavenly Father. And so when we end our prayers, we tell, we tell uh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now, the middle pieces of the bread, that can be a lot of different things, right? What kind of sandwiches do you like? What sandwich is your favorite? There's peanut butter and jelly, there's ham and cheese, there's tuna fish, there's all kinds of different types of sandwiches, right? Well, in prayer, the stuff that goes in the middle is up to you. You get to decide what you tell Heavenly Father, and you can tell him anything you want. You can tell him about your day, you can tell him about things that are going on, you can tell them the things that made you sad or that made you happy. You can tell Heavenly Father anything you want. There are two things that you can think about telling your Heavenly Father, though, that are good to put in, in your prayer sandwich. The first thing are things that you're thankful for. It's important to tell Heavenly Father why you're thankful for the things that He has given you. He's given us so many things. I like to tell Heavenly Father I'm thankful for nice weather, for sunny days, for the toys that I have, for my parents, for the food that I have. I love to tell Heavenly Father why I am thankful. The second thing that we tell Heavenly Father are things that we need, the things that we need to ask Him for. So maybe I need to ask Him help that I might feel better, 
or to be more kind to the people around me. Or maybe I need to ask them to help my, my mom and dad because they're having a hard time. Or maybe to ask them for help for my, um, my, my homework and getting that done. You can ask them for anything that you need. But those are two things that you can add to your prayer and anything else you'd like to tell him too because he wants to listen to you. He wants to talk with you. And that is how we create prayer. So again, saying, Dear Heavenly Father, we can say things that we are thankful for, things that we need, and anything else you want to say. And then we always end it by, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. And that's how prayer works. So I hope that you will be able to um, use prayer to talk with your Heavenly Father because he wants to listen to you. Could you do me some uh, do me a favor? Could you draw a picture of yourself praying and send it to me so Oliver can see it? Because I think he would like to know and see what it looks like to pray. Because he needs to learn too. And then would you ask your family if they would pray with you? Maybe you guys can all get together in the morning or in the in the nighttime, and you guys can get together and you can all pray together. Will you ask your family if they will do that too? I promise you that if you pray, your Heavenly Father is going to listen to you. And He's going to answer your prayers. I know this because He's done it for me. When I needed help, or when I needed something, I could always pray. And He always answered my prayers. He's going to do that for you too. But you have to put forth the effort and actually pray. If you do, you're going to be blessed and you're going to be able to hear your Heavenly Father speak to you and he'll tell you the things that you need to know. Well, I'm so glad that I was able to talk with you today and I hope that I'll be able to see you guys again soon. But until then, I hope you have a good rest of your week and I will be back next week to talk with you. I hope you have a good day. Bye.